Peace, fam. <clears throat> How you doing this on this great emoji? Uh, huh? Uh, well, let's go and call them out. Let's get it started so I can start. Get my day moving. Oh, ah. Got my little back, my little back door open. Got a little bit of fresh air coming in, man. It's kind of, it's kind of. I'm still adjusting from the winter time, right? Great day. And, oh, you at a family? Are you at the family? Where, where is the family reunion at? Let's bring them out. I wait for. I'm still waiting for your reply. Bring them out. 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 All right. So. As usual, y'all know we starting with the water. Even though. Uh, I've been. I've been Killing that little gallon, man. I ain't, ain't gonna do nothing for me. Friday, oh, oh, you got me. From Nia to Imani, and here in Columbus, southern roots run deep. All right. Man, gotta keep checking that door. No vagabonds, you know what I'm saying? But um, so make sure you drink your water, fam. <laughs> All right. I'll be slipping on it too, fam. I got all these push-ups. I got push-ups. I still gotta catch up on. You know, but hey. Hey, it's the process. It's part of the process. So, um, we're in the process of, uh, of changing our minds, even though in many cases our minds have been changed. But we're able to take the opportunity to, to really change our mind and start shifting how we look at the very days of the week, which is the foundation for, I mean, I mean, name, name a time or day. I mean, you can't even, I mean, you can't. If you're thinking in, in, in perspective, if you're thinking in time, right, you're going to have to say the day, right? If you're dealing in time, you're going to have to say the day. You know what I'm saying? So why not make that culturally relevant? You know what I'm saying? Culturally appropriate. That's, I mean, that's, that's the new word for me now. Culturally appropriate. The new words. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just, I. I was going to do um, the session today on opening the third eye, but um, I found an article on the microbiome because one of the things that caught my interest was I heard a neuroscientist say that they could change not a person's mood, not a person's attitude, but they could change a person's personality by dealing with the microbiome. I don't know if people really understand the significance of that, but I I I got to read this article on the microbiome and health and and mental health. Why? Because they have found ways that through your diet, because that's the only way you get to the microbiome. Through your diet, in some form or fashion, they could change your personality. As a matter of fact. Oh man, dude, it's it's and then especially it's is especially hard. Um I'm jumping off of the microbiome fan. I'm talking to Brother Kwame. He's on the Guzasaba challenge as well, so he's trying to catch himself with the days of the week. And it's very hard when you speak with people that don't understand. So it's sort of like speaking a different language. So you got to you know what I'm saying, one of the things I preface things with is when I'm talking to people, right? You know what I'm saying? That might be slightly in the know, might be slightly conscious. You know what I'm saying? You got to do a slash. 
me and Slash that day. You see what I'm saying? Because it's 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 sort of like we speaking um um it's it, it's sort of like we speak in a different language, which which is the foundation of a culture, is it not? Um, so you saying he's saying dieting is a form of introducing trauma. Yes, it is, and 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 trauma changes. See, and people don't understand. See, you got what what they call post traumatic stress, right? But you also have this thing called post traumatic growth, right? A lot of people don't people don't deal with the post traumatic growth. You know what I'm saying? They only talk about the post-traumatic stress. Like in medicine, they only focus on the sicknesses or they, they focus on all of the sicknesses, but they don't focus on wellness, right? This is how crazy this society is, right? So you have this, this thing called post-traumatic growth where individuals who go through a traumatic situation grow from it rather than are traumatized by it. And people are like, well, that that's very rare, Brother Hot Tim. But this is the point. If you have the tools and the resources to study it, could you not find out what are the keys to an individual growing from trauma rather than being trapped by trauma? Hmm. Hmm. Right? Just like with this old microbiome thing. When I say, when I say, look, my goal, my goal, G and J's goal, is to end all gut-related diseases within our tribe. We could do that, right? We could do that. We, I mean, people think that you need a, need laboratories and shit, but fam, do y'all understand that the first laboratory was a kitchen? You, you see all them beakers and shit? Them is nothing but glasses and 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 cups and shit. That's all that is. Just fancy shaped cups and glasses and shit. The first laboratories was, were kitchens. If we want to make change in our community, we need to get back in the lab. Right? What is cooking? Cooking is nothing but chemistry. Right? Cooking up the right stuff, the right chemical combinations that your body could break down. Culturally appropriate. Mm. I'm drinking my water, fam. Mm. The, um, so, I was going to do... Tomorrow show, I think it's gonna be on opening, opening the third eye. Crazy, huh? <laughs> right? I was gonna do that today, but I honestly believe and listen to me. I'm so into this microbiome stuff, right? Ah, uh, that shit taking precedence over opening the third eye, because people, family, check this out, and I'm gonna say this again. The gut is the second brain. They call the gut. The second brain. The microbiome is the second brain. Right? Why? Because it creates neural, it it, pr it produces neural transmitters. Do y'all did y'all hear me? We talking about right here. Neuro means nerves. And usually neurotransmitters pro is produced up here in your brain. But your gut got neurotransmitters. You shocked too? Think about it. Your gut has neurotransmitters. It produces serotonin. It produces other chemicals that affect the brain. And I know you wonder how I get there. Well, I told y'all the other day. It's this nerve called the vagabond nerve. Also known as the vagus nerve. So if anybody want to know what Las Vegas means, right? Las Vegas, I don't know what the loss means. But Vegas means vagabond. It's a call. It's a big giant nerve called the vagus nerve that connects the the brain and the gut. 
other parts too because it travels they call that's why they call it the vagabond but everywhere it travels it's in contact with the microbiome and the microbiome is producing neurotransmitters that's why they call it the second brain so now if the second brain is composed of outside material see because the microbiome is not not your genetics is another genetics it's a it's another genetic package is 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 um other microorganisms that work with your body right so if the your microbiome is outside of you if your microbiome is being influenced by things outside of you outside of your culture it it stands the reason that you may be insane because your body and your microbiome is working off and producing neurochemicals that change who you are and it's getting all of its source material from somewhere else like MSG and, 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 and red dye six and, and blue dye yellow or you know and uh, uh, lord knows what else you know what I'm saying bleach and chlorine and fluoride <clears throat> let me go take my bitters because you know that's kind of bitter it's a bitter life right when you start recognizing shit I thought it was bad the first time I woke up because I was violent as fuck now I'm sitting up here like I'm paranoid as hell. I'm sitting up here like these motherfuckers and took warfare to a whole nother level. Y'all still playing with guns. We still playing with guns. Kwame, we still playing with guns. For the meadows. Mm. <laughs> he said Las Vegas is a Spanish expression for the meadows. Alright. But listen. Listen. We still playing with guns. These motherfuckers warring with chemicals. And you can't I go into a s I go into even a gas station, right? And I am surrounded by weapons of mass destruction. You know what I'm saying? Shit I used to pick up on a regular sugar straws and 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 uh, um, sweet tarts and, and 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 Doritos and shit. I'm sitting up there like, God damn, this is an armory. <laughs> uh, all right. It clarifies a whole lot of stuff, man. Because now I understand why people acting in the way they acting. It don't it don't make it right? You know what I'm saying? But I I can be a little bit more understanding. You know what I'm saying? Because even deeper than them being biochemically off, is that it's part part of them is running wild. Paris between the parasites and the and their microbiome being out of balance. They are possessed. Possession is real. It's real. Alright. Today we're going to be doing the super death eater. It says my super death eater. finish this bottle soon all right because when it's once you once you start letting all the air get in here because every time i open the air goes down in there and it start producing and 
pushing. So now it's aerobic. But when I first started, it's anaerobic. So on, there's no air getting in. There's only air getting out. Right? And there's only a little bit of air up here. So that little surface area that's up at the top is being affected. Right? But it's not a lot of aerobic life. So the, when, once the aerobic piece start going, it start aging. Right? So, you know, for those of you that is getting the gallons and the half gallons, know that once you start drinking it, you need to you need to go and finish it up. I ain't saying in one sitting, but understand that as more air start getting in and aerobic process is allowed to start happening, it's going to start aging. And you're going to taste all of the subtle differences. Those of you that are... Uh, um, those of you that's into it. Best weapon is one enemy uses against self willingly. That's right. That's right. That's right. Why why do I need to waste a soldier? You know what I'm saying? When I can get you to kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's perfect warfare. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, like I said, if 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 this machine wasn't launched against me, right? I would be admiring the brilliance of it. But this shit is coming after my babies. You know what I'm saying? But I still have to step back every now and then and be like, this motherfucker is smooth. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because this oh, excellent student, they was really paying attention to Kemet. <laughs> oh, they was paying attention. You know what I'm saying? 2,000 years worth of attention. You know what I'm saying? It's just a matter of us getting our mind back. That's it. And I'm sipping some right now. Uh, smell the root from this mug. The honey from yesterday is already gone. Uh, oh, dang. I wasn't ready for that. All right, first, Toast and Answer, I mean, Toast and the Creator, by whatever name you choose, call that Creator, we call on that great energy, we call, call on that power, we call on the, the, the Creator of all things to be present with us as we lift up our glasses and we salute that universal presence, that multiversal presence, however you look at it, whatever name you call it, we call on it and we say, Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We always remember our grandmothers and grandfathers, our uncles and our aunts, our mothers and our fathers, our friends and our cousins, nieces and nephews, all of our relations, as our Native American brothers and sisters would say, to all our relations, we lift up our glass. We remember them. You know what I'm saying? We remember them. We remember them. Whether we're going to family reunions or, or whether we're just sitting at home right now by ourselves, we allow the sweet memories of those individuals to roll across us. Oh, that's true. That's true. Brother Kwame says, no matter... But was it that they could not grasp the good aspect of the spiritual content of what they learned? Yeah, they grasped the good aspect. Um, good for them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get back to the toast. It was it's excellent for them. You understand what I'm saying? They grasped the good for them. You know what I'm saying? But it's a matter, you know, it's a matter of being able to apply it universally you know what I'm saying they didn't grasp that part you know what I'm saying hell they can't be mad at them you know what I'm saying can't be mad at them but we got to deal with them right so we toast our ancestors we ask them to move with us and move for us to help us in this battle to protect uh, our children as they walk these streets to protect our children as they enter these institutions to protect protect us as we enter these institutions we are we ask our ancestors to go before us and make the world make the road smooth not remove the problems but at least give us the leeway to make it through give us the ability to make it through because we all understand that without struggle life is not even worth living 
You know what I'm saying? Without struggle, there is no growth. You know what I'm saying? So we understand that we got to take the bitter with the sweet. So we lift up our glasses and remember those ancestors. And we ask them to come forth. We ask them. Um, we ask them for their blessings. So I'll go down my family line. If you got something you want to throw up. Brother Kwame or anybody else out there, please let me know. So, Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin, and Texana Davis. I'm a Brown. I'm a Brown Senior, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, and William Walton, Chris and Fanny Ganson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris. I do say Uncle Chris. After Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown. Cleveland Brown, Alvira Brown, Gina Gaines, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, I think it, that was his last name, um, Wash, there we go, that's, man, I got two Washes when I think about it, I got Wash Senior, and I think we had Wash Junior, I don't know if he was a Junior, but you know, I'm I'm gonna have to I'm about to call my people about that. Um uh, and I know definitely one is Wash Ellis. Um the holistic versus the particular. Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Eli Oh, okay, cool. Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Kutchler, Reese and Orlandis Rashad. Hardman, um, um, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, Monty Q. Pimentel, John Fillard, Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Normal X, Sepet Ma Ra, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Tony Clark, Dr. Marianne Williams. We lift up our glasses to all the ones called today, all the ones that are rested in our heart. We lift up the glass and we say, Ashe. From there, we toast this moment. It is a moja. And for me, it's the first day of a long system that's moved me towards 21 days. So, today I start my 21, another, I don't did it before, but I'm starting another version of the 21 day Guzza Saba challenge just for, just for me. I'm going on the Vision Quest family for the next 21 days. And I already started having dreams about food. <laughs> it ain't been one day. I'm already having dreams about food. So we lift up our glass and we toast this moment of Moja. And we're going to work it through. And we say, I say, last but not least, we toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity. So we toast our children. You know, usually my daughters would try to be up here, but they ain't going to get up at no 415. So we lift up the glass for our children and their children and their children and their children. Because we're responsible for the next gen seven generations. And then on top of that, we're generational people. So there's, so there's, is we're coming back so we got to make sure we make sure we, we lay the we lay the foundation so we don't come back into no madness then i toast you toast your struggles or toast your victories we ask the ancestors to roll out roll it roll out the carpet for you help you make it through right give you inspiration when you're feeling low bring you down when you're feeling too high unnecessarily you know, so we ask our ancestors to be present with us. And we say, Ashe. 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 I wish you peace, power, joy in 100 years. Ashe and not Arthur Ashe, even though I lift him up too. One love, fam. You take it easy. Damn, that changed in just a minute it was sitting there. Woo!
But you know what? This brew, for this session, I'm noticing a lot of tart. I got to look up the flavor tart. But I'm noticing in this brew right here, there's a lot of tart. Peace, brother Kwame. Ah, all right, fam. So I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna get into the uh, YouTube piece and build. So I'm gonna thank all those that um, were here. Lift you up. Um, I've seen a couple people coming in. Want to especially thank brother Kwame for joining me. Um, but those that couldn't, you catch you called me later. I salute you as well. You know what I'm saying? Throw up your name and down in down in the um, whatever they call that the stream. So I'm gonna send you out a shot tomorrow. Cause I, I'm trying to keep the notes and stuff like that. If you have um ancestors that you want me to go in and salute, you know what I'm saying? While we're doing the toast, leave them in leave them in the stream. I got you, alright? Um with that, but I tell you.